DoggyDiamondsTV.com. What's up, everybody out there? It's your boy Doggy Diamonds for DoggyDiamondsTV.com. This is a serious matter to me. You know, we could joke about this. We could laugh about this. Many of us are joking and laugh about it. But Cat Williams needs serious help. And it's like the people around him, I don't know what the problem is. Like, everybody's letting him run rampant. And, you know, I think it's a situation where, you know, you might have a lot of people around him leeching off of him and exploiting him for money and taking his money and just letting him do shit. But it's obvious to a duck that Cat Williams is on a downward spiral mentally, physically, emotionally. And I, I believe something fatal is going to happen to him soon. If not what he's going to do to himself, what somebody else is going to do to him. It has nothing to, nothing to do with footage of him getting jumped or anything like that. You know, that could have been fatal, but I think it's going to be something worse. Now, obviously, you know, Cat Williams has some type of mental illness or he's on some type of drugs. You know, I can't confirm anything, but something isn't right. And I think instead of people laughing at it and, and making it the topic of conversation and sharing it and liking it and talking about it, when is somebody going to intervene and say, yo, let's help this man out? I mean, we've seen this erratic behavior from so many of our celebrities who's now no longer with us. You know, we saw it from Whitney Houston and then, I want, and then out of nowhere, she was just gone. We've seen some erratic behavior out of ODB and then out of nowhere, he was gone. And then everybody want to throw up the RIP, how much they missed him and how, you know, how sad they are that they gone and how talented they was. But while they were living on earth and while they were here in the physical presence, everybody was laughing and joking and making a mockery out of it. I just think somebody, you know, if, if, if you, the people out there, if you really love, and I'm not talking to the common folk, I'm talking about the people in Cat Williams Circle. If you really love him, you care about him and you for his well-being, help him. You know, sit him down, get him some help, whether it be mentally whether it be uh, substance abuse, alcohol abuse, or all of the three combined. I don't know what it is, but something isn't right. And I fear that, you know, we might be seeing the last days of Cat Williams because something fatal is going to happen. And then everybody's going to be like, R.I.P. Cat Williams, yo, he was the, he was the best, he was, he was the GOAT. You know, you know the shit that they say once people die, how great they were, but while they was living, you know, they was laughing at them you know and like I tell people man I'm here I'm alive I want to smell the roses I want to feel feel my hugs I don't want people telling me how great I was after I'm no longer here to hear it you know I don't know about the next realm I don't know about the next step to anything you know but I know while I'm here and if you think I'm great and I do great things and vice versa with other people if I think you're great and I think you do great things I'm gonna let you know if I feel like you need help uh, I'm going to let you know, especially if you're close to me. And, and you know, and, and even if I, I give my thoughts to you and I, and I express concern from my heart to you and it falls on deaf ears, I'm going to keep trying. You know, I'm going to keep trying. So at least, you know, if something does happen to you, unfortunate situation does happen to you, I know that I gave my all. I know that I tried. You know, but um, we watching Cat Williams. We was watching him run around with Suge Knight all crazy and shit. Look where Suge Knight ended up and look how Suge Knight ended up, you know, um, and I just see something really, really bad happening to Cat Williams. And, you know, especially us in the black community, man, we got to stop laughing at each other's pain and, and making mockeries of it because we all got somebody like Cat Williams in our family. You know, we, we sit there and look at them and we just say, oh, I don't fuck with Uncle Darnell. You know, he's smoking, he crazy and shit. But then we'll look at a celebrity online that we don't even know and talk about how much we love them. You know, we all got a Cat Williams in our family. So even if you have family members who's going in that same route or it is in that same boat as Cat Williams, try to get them help. You know, everybody wants to be helped. It's some way to break through the people. You have to try all means necessary because it ends up fatal and then you're going to be sorry that you didn't do more. That's all I had to say about the situation. You know, we all putting up Cat Williams' story. Everybody is sharing it, liking it, and talking about it. But nobody's really talking about the real problem at hand is that Cat Williams need help. That's all I had to say. This is Doggy Diamonds for Doggy Diamonds TV. Peace.